Hey sketchy friends, in this video I'm just going to replicate some sea studies I did in my sketchbook when um, driving along the Great Ocean Road in Australia. I really love these little studies I did in my Stillman and Byrne beta sketchbook, which actually I, I bought whilst I was there in Melbourne, but I've actually forgotten how I really achieved them, so I've been meaning to try and sort of have another go at these and remember what I did yeah, I've been meaning to do this for such a long time and I kind of want to start sort of refining being able to do these little sketches, especially as I'm going to go off on my honeymoon in November and there's going to be a lot of coastal scenes to sketch. So um, yeah, I thought I would crack these out and have another go and share it with you. And then also what I'm talking about today mainly is this hashtag Team Seas campaign. So this campaign came along and I was invited to make some content about it and I thought what better than to try out these studies again and to share my findings with you and also talk about Team C's. So before I go on to talking about Team C's, today I'm using my Sea Whites of Brighton. Oh yeah, Sea Whites. I just got that. That's nice. That ties in. <laughs> my Sea Whites of Brighton watercolour travel sketch sketchbook. It's an extremely affordable sketchbook and perfect for the ink and watercolour sketching I like to do. It's the A5 size, so it's perfect to carry around with you, although I think they do, have, they do offer it in a larger A4 size as well. In regards to my watercolour paints, I'm using my trusty St. Petersburg White Knight set, as usual, and you can find the links to all of these things on my recommended stuff page on my website, urbansketchingworld.com, and the link is in the description for this video. Okay, so I'm not really going to walk you through these sketches uh, in any sort of detail, but hopefully you can see well enough what I'm doing on the screen, and I have added little headings to kind of give you a, an idea of what's going on. But if you would like me to do more of a demo on this sort of thing, just let me know in the comments below, and I would happily do another video about this subject matter. Otherwise, I am mainly going to talk about the Team C's campaign. So this campaign has been started by prominent YouTubers Mr. Beast and Mark Rober. So Team C's is actually a global campaign to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of plastic and trash from our ocean rivers and beaches. So yeah, this is, this is big. It's also, it's like the second wave of the largest creator-led fundraising campaign to ever hit the internet. So Team Trees was launched back in 2019 by the same people. And they had a goal to raise $20 million to plant 20 million trees. And they, they smashed it. They, wrote, they raised over $23 million um, and, and generated more than 1 billion video views. So even apparently two years later, the website teamtrees.org is still receiving donations for planting 2,600 trees every single day. So the work that these campaigns produce is, or the results they produce is just mind blowing. So just as like a tiny bit of background, I, I won't go, you know, I don't want to go into too many facts and figures and whatnot, but you know, you might be asking, well, what's the deal with the plastic pollution in our water? I mean, a lot of people know this is a problem, but, you know, there's, it just doesn't seem like anything's really being done about it. So, you know, our oceans, rivers and beaches are all full of plastic, um, trash, rubbish, and it's estimated that there's actually 200 million tonnes of plastic already circulating in marine environments with an estimated 11 million tonnes entering the ocean every single year. So that's pollutions from things like, pollution from things like bottles, bags, straws and abandoned fishing gear. So it's, you know, it's a health crisis for the entire planet. So this campaign wants to, the goal is to remove the equivalent of 85 football fields covered a foot deep in trash. It's just, yeah, it's just crazy. So, 
you might be asking what, why oceans, rivers and beaches? So the ocean and the life within it are obviously incredibly, incredibly important. We all know that. Aside from the water we drink, the ocean produces half the air we breathe every single day. So it's obviously a no-brainer that keeping it clean and healthy is critical to our ongoing survival. But keeping our rivers and beaches free of trash pollution is just as important as the ocean. Rivers contribute up to 20% of the ocean plastic pollution overall. And they're actually the arteries that carry waste from the land to the ocean. So it's important that we cut off that problem upstream before it ever reaches the ocean. And trash, is, trash on the beaches obviously inevitably makes its way into the water as well and can harm coastal habitats, um, which is why this campaign is focusing the attention on cleaning up all three of those things, all three of those areas. So um, the Team Seas campaign is partnering with uh, non-profit organisations, two, two non-profit charities, so Ocean Conservancy, Conservancy, Conservancy God, I can't say that word, <laughs> um, and the Ocean Cleanup. So all of the donations that Team Seas receives will be split um, between the two charities 50-50. So Ocean Conservancy... <sighs> Ocean Conserv Conservancy is uh, Team C's implementation partner for the beaches and the oceans um, side of things. And then Ocean Cleanup is the partner for cleaning up the rivers. So how is the money raised by this campaign that's going to be donated to these two non-profits? How is that actually going to work? How is that going to clean up all of the trash? So 30 million pounds of trash is a lot of trash. And what they're going to do is divide the work among three points of intervention, as I mentioned, beaches, rivers and oceans. So in regards to the beaches, there's experts at Ocean Conservancy that will send professional crews to clean up some of the most iconic, vulnerable beaches on the planet. And they'll be holding like safe, locally hosted events um, to leverage the network so that members can actually roll up their sleeves and see the impact that they're making firsthand, one pound of trash at a time. So um, the ICC is the largest beach cleanup network in the world. They have more than 300 and they have collected more than 340 million pounds of trash um, from beaches in the last 35 years, which is insane. Um, and then for the rivers, the money generated, the money raised, is going to fund things called interceptors. So these are these belong to the ocean cleanup, and they're cutting edge river cleanup technologies that collect the rubbish before it can even reach the ocean. So the ocean cleanup, the the nonprofit that fifty percent of this money is going to, they've got several intercept interceptor solutions already deployed at some of the world's most polluted rivers to catch the plastic and the trash upstream. So Team Seas will support the expansion and continued operation of this work as the Ocean Cleanup uh, nonprofit. They're going to aim to clean up 1% of the rivers which contribute 80% of the trash. 1% of rivers contribute 80% of the trash flowing into the ocean from, from the rivers. It's, it's just crazy. Some of these numbers are just crazy. I didn't know the, a lot of this stuff, so it's just like, you know, super interesting, and I'm just really honoured to be a very, very tiny part of um, promoting this campaign. Um, so anyway, moving thirdly on to oceans, um, actually lost, abandoned and discarded fishing gear or ghost gear, as it's known, is some of the deadliest ocean trash and it's really hard to recover. So Team Seas is going to work with um, Ocean Conservancy and they're going to try and recover this ghost gear. They're going to target these ghost gear graveyards, as they're called. So they're going to identify um, the abandoned gear and just try and float it to the surface. From there, they're going to hook it onto boat cranes and remove it from the ocean. Every single dollar raised by this Team Seas uh, campaign is going to go to one of these two non-profit partners, Ocean Conservancy and the Ocean Cleanup, and they'll split the funds 50-50. So that's um, 
that's my video today guys. I mean I am obviously sketching these beautiful ocean scenes and I really hope that you guys can find it in your hearts to go and visit teamseas.org and just donate a few dollars. Like every single dollar, it literally helps. Every single dollar is going to remove a pound of trash from the oceans. 30 million dollars, 30 million pounds of trash removed from the water. So, uh, I mean, head over there if you can. And if not, at least, you know, spread the word about this um, campaign. It's it's launched today on Friday the 29th of October and it's going to run until 1st of January 2022. So we've got like the next couple of months to try and collectively raise $30 million or more um, to remove 30, pound, 30 million pounds of trash from the oceans. So I am going to leave you with that today, guys. I know this is a bit different than my usual content, but I hope you appreciate the message behind it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.